we're back and we got a lot of parts today but show you a little bit of work i did i kind of i kind of took the car back apart a little bit but it's not bad it's just the roof and quarter but i did that so i can finish fixing all of this so this is now all fixed this is fixed this is fixed this lower tray's in i still got to put the the catch tray which hangs down here a little bit i still got to do that so this is all fixed so that means the quarter is just about ready to go on for the final time because i couldn't access any of this when the quarter is on oh and i fixed all of this and the way the strapping right here that's how they did it from the factory so i just went back and did it the same way and there's another one that's supposed to go right here just haven't done it yet so this is all new metal this is all good this is all new metal like i said down in there but i got a bunch of parts and i'm gonna go get them so i can show you guys this is just box one showing up we got another box coming with a bunch of other stuff we got spring perches we got brake master cylinder we got what is this called what's that thing called um um portion valve we got leaf springs shocks all the steering sway bar more perches springs everything suspension wise lower control arm should be some upper somewhere. Oh, look. Upper control arms, spring isolators, what are the, uh, strut rod thingy, my bobbers that go on the front of the thingy, my bobber. But we got a ton of parts. A ton, a ton of parts. And we got plenty more coming. We, I mean, I ordered, I basically ordered a Mustang. I was like, Mustang kit order. Like, that's, that's basically what I did. So, what we're going to do today, we're going to work on making this car into a roller because. I really need it into a roller. It's in the way. I need to get Tombstone out for something coming up. So I need this out of the way. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna make it a roller. And the good thing is once we make it a roller, we can make sure everything's good. And then we start welding in some jams and stuff like that. But let's get some suspension on this thing. I guess the first thing I'll do, I'll go ahead and uh, pop these fenders off, make it easier on myself. got my hands on some self-etching primer you know go ahead and uh, dress some of these spots a little heavy a little heavy get some of this now First run, looks good. Um, sure. Great. We need a lower control arm. Bingo. Hey, I don't think I have a bolt for that. We need an upper control arm. We need a spring first. We need a spring. We need a spring isolator. We need a front shock. Hardware, hardware, no hardware. Lovely. Alright. Pretty sure I don't have a bolt for this. Huh. Oh, good thing about these cars, there's not a right and left when it comes to a control arm. Well, this one came with hardware. This was a half hardware. Got a cotter pin. 
Nice spring. All right. I can't. I can't flip it. Ah! Okay. Before y'all freak out, put your rubber on. Protect your threads. So, goes just like that. Ha! So easy. So the way you line these things is with shims. And uh, I have no idea where to start with them, so I'm not even gonna worry about it. Oh, it wants me to put these 90s in there. We can do that later. So the right size. It's ramrodder on home, you know what I mean? Oh. Yeah. Ooh. I don't think there's a right left on this either. No, that's just a spring stop. Tool. I had to find it. Pablo used it last. Anyways, so these are GT springs. Uh, I don't know what the. I don't know. I don't know what the difference is. You have your regular V8 springs and stuff like that, then you have the GT springs. And I was like. GT? You know how else I know Pablo used it? I'm gonna look like a tin man after all this because it has so much never sees on it. Just be a man. Use WD-40. gonna stick them in there for now with no nut and then we'll come back to that. Right. Now we got our strut rod. Strut rod, hot rod. Boo -boo. It said these are the right bushings. But, uh, to be honest, I really didn't look too far into it. <laughs> I can tell. I guess they're both male sided. Yeah, so it don't matter. So it'll be that. To the lighter.
probably should have put this on before I put the spring in it. You live and learn, you know? Well, from the looks of it, this thing's gonna be sitting higher than Snoop Dogg, so there's that. Maybe I should've got some V6 springs or something. Or I'll just order some lowering springs. We'll see. So I'm gonna go to the other side, I'm gonna get the other side caught up, and then we're gonna jump to the back. We got this side caught up to that side now, so now we're gonna jump to the back. We're gonna get one of these leaf springs right here oh goodness golly that's heavy these are also drake scott and they're reverse eye but I believe these are a two inch drop. I can't remember exactly, but I want to say these are a two inch lowering leaf spring, but they're uh, Scott Drake as well. Drake Scott, Scott Drake, you know, same thing. There's a part number on them right there. We'll work on getting, I believe I still have the bushings in the back. Let's see here. Let's see. Yeah, so we still got the, the bushings in here so we're gonna have to get the bushings out please on that side too yeah so actually i'm gonna take this leaf spring i'm gonna hang it up there in the eyelet that leaf spring hang up there in that eyelet and then we'll work on getting these bushings out and get the back hung and then we'll grab the rear end housing that's sitting right there on that truck that y'all know nothing about and we're gonna put it in the car so i went on the internet and I looked up the bolt size for these leaf springs. It was a uh, half inch 13 by six and a half. And I went to the store, all they had was six inch. And I was like, what does the internet know? You know? And uh, what do you know? It's six and a half, not six. So, the internet was right. Basically, what I'm saying is, is I got two short bolts, okay? Okay. So, y'all remind me to get the right bolts for this and the right bolts for the lower control arm. Because, you know, doing mock Jesus, we don't want anything to happen to old girl. Or, mainly me, I guess. Now the car. Let's see if we can get these, these out. These really shouldn't be in there that hard. But, you know, I've been wrong before. All right. Oh, that's crutchy. Nice. we have for this is 
Also, Scott Drake, this is a dual exhaust shackle kit. Ooh, nuts. So, a little bit of that one there. Yeah, some assembly required. Now, oh, like a glove. Somebody's mowing. You know what that means? That means I gotta mow. That's man law. That car is not going to be straight. Alright. Now, let me get the other side caught up. So they're both, huh? So now, I'm going to go get the rear end housing. And uh, we'll put the rear end in this bad boy. Yeah, just bang on everything. So this original rear end, uh, I had a sandblast it and then I spray painted it. <laughs> you see that? Hey, wait a second. Wait a second. I just thought about something. When I took off the part, I threw it on the scrap trailer. Uh, guess what was on the scrap trailer? Dang it. Dang it. Um, I have a parts car. But then that's not going to be able to roll because then the rear will fall out of it. Huh. We need a pickle. Um. Here's what it is. Dang. Actually, I can weld. We're going to sell the parts car for now. And then I'll weld the rear end housing to that rear end until we can scrap it. Because uh, we're going to scrap it. Idiot. Well, that's what we need. These actually look really bad. Whoa, what rear end's in this thing? Seven and a half? Why does that rear end look so different? Anyways, I need those. So, I'm gonna have to figure that out. I have a plan. Hopefully this ain't no fall. We're gonna skim it on right by here. Oh yeah, this is working beautifully. I bust a move right there. Oh, 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 don't hit that. Don't hit that. Oh, oh. Is he gonna hit it? Something's hitting it. <laughs> It'll be all right. I'm gonna move that on right in the back door. Oh no, my fan. And 
landed. Okay. So, what I'm thinking is, I'm going to jack the back end of this thing up. I am going to get the weld machine out, crank her on high, weld the axle to the leaf spring, and then pull off what we need. Genius idea, I know. Socket. Uh. Uh. So it's 11 16 and uh, I like to find with a 17. So I found a tool to make the 17 make the nut a 17. You know what I'm saying? Works every time. Don't do that. Don't do that. And just like that, to make it a 17500 worked great. The good news is, my weld holding. <laughs> Never doubted myself. One second. Now to really test the welds. Oh yeah, solid. Good as factory. All right, now I'm gonna take this thing and put it back over there. I wonder, I wonder if there's any Bondo in that? Cause we still need to fix the wheel well in the other car. I'm gonna have to cut that off and take a gander. I was smart enough to buy new U-bolts though. <laughs> I guess these are just got Drake brand too. 6466 inline six or six cylinder or V8 axle nuts, bolts, U bolts. Those things that hold the thing to the thing. That's what we got. And I bought new seals as well, so. Hopefully those are right. All right, so there's that. Where are those new seals? Man, I hope I got the right ones. So the housing is bolted in. We got that going. So what I decided, I'm just gonna throw the third member in it and put the axles in it because I ordered a new brake kit front and rear for this car. That's why the drums are still on there, guys. Calm down. But uh, I gotta pull the rear axles back out. So I'm not gonna worry about putting the seals and stuff in now because I don't wanna put them in until the final time 
so I don't mess them up pulling in and out and stuff. So I'm just going to stick the third member in, throw the axles back in it, throw some wheels and tires on the back because I'm also very smart and only ordered one rear shock. So that shock's got to show up now. As for the front, I think I can get a wheel on that. I don't know. But if not, I have the drum brakes off of the white Mustang that I can just throw on here real quick. And we'll put some wheels and tires on this thing, set it on the ground, and we should be, should have a roller. So, I'm going to go grab the third member so we can throw it in there. There. Let's see how much fun I can have trying to put this in. Like I said, I'm not going to silicone or anything right now. I'm probably going to just pull it all back out later. What am I doing? It goes this way. Oh, brother. I'm gonna tell you now, if that was the final time to do that, it wouldn't have been that easy. No way in hell. This is the factory third member to the car. It has like a 3.0 gear or something in it with a limited slip. It'll work. We can do good wheel speed burnouts and get good gas mileage. So that new brake kit I got, it replaces basically all of this. Uh, the backing plate, all that stuff, does away with everything. So that's why I'm not too concerned about it. Because so I gotta take all this stuff back off anyways. But, like I said earlier, I need to move this car. Is that my eyes? Look. Y'all see that? Watch right here. Either something in the metal? Man, I'm gonna have to check these axles. I might need to go get that rear end out of that gray car. Whoa. Let's see what we got over here. Pretty sure I got some wheels and tires to fit this thing. Uh, those are Crown Vic. <laughs> uh, what is this? Where are these from? I think these are from the fair lane. What is it? There we go. Yeah. Yeah, these are all Mustang. Pretty sure. These are Mustang. That's gotta be Mustang. Look, these guys, these guys are brand new. So these two and this one, look, this one. That one's still got the, the sticker on it. This one don't look too healthy. What are those? Hey, oh, so I got tires on those. Uh, we'll do these two on the rear, and I believe I have two more in the shop.
We got some brand new tires. Well, a brand new tire. We're gonna pretend like these are fine. Because uh, only two of these have threads. But that's all we need. tire that's been on the car for 17 years I've had it. I don't know where the other one went though. She is sitting on her switch. That one is cambered like crazy. This one's sitting pretty good. But this one, man, she is super cambered. Ah. Okay, does it roll? It rolls, it freaking rolls. All right, we're gonna get the quarter panel thrown back on, get the roof thrown back on. I'm gonna throw the fenders back on and we're taking this sucker outside. I wanna see it outside. I might cry. I wanna see it outside though. There it is guys i mean it looks like total crap but i man i freaking love it i love everything about it this is the first time i've seen this car roll ever and i like i said i've said it a dozen times i've had this car 17 years and i have never seen it roll or anything like this this car was left for dead like 50 something years ago because the license plate that was on it in the last registration was like early 70s when the car was wrecked so this is amazing like this car was left for dead by somebody and it was supposed to be crushed that's why it always had that or that's why it has the x on the quarter panel because it was supposed to be crushed and destroyed and here i am 50 years later bringing it back i mean yeah it's got a bunch of new sheet metal and stuff but the soul is still the same i would think but I just, I'm just looking at it. it. From where it was, what? How long have we been working on this? What? Seven weeks now? From where it was seven weeks ago to this. That's absolutely amazing. Like, I couldn't be happier. Don't get me wrong. We still have a ton of work to do on this thing, but gotta appreciate it for what it is at the moment gotta be happy about it hopefully my brake kit will be coming in pretty soon so we can get the brakes dialed in i really need to see what's going up with the axle on that side it looked a little wonky so worse comes worse i'm gonna have to go pull the axle out of that other parts car that gray car i mean that kind of sucks i mean we got a lot of that car already on this one but hey it's all right hey would this gonna be considered a coupe conversion because like the front clip and the the windshield frame all stuff from a coupe so is this a coupe conversion 
just done very extensively anyways so we need to figure out what's going on with that uh like i said we got a ton of parts coming in still i mean we got we got seals we got carpet uh motor mounts headers the brake kit i got a new fuel tank for it uh the engine it's sitting right back over there y'all ain't seen it yet but it's back over there uh what else we got the transmission cross member everything i mean everything basically to kind of complete the car but at this point the way it is now we can get all this bracing pulled out of it uh finish the rest of the little rust we want to finish paint the dash do some sound oh sound deadeners coming in that's what it was a bunch of sound deadener we need to get the dash painted wiring harness coming in wiring i mean everything's showing up within like the next week and a half two weeks so we are right on target for everything so that's all i got on scrappy uh this has been a ton of work as y'all know but uh it's been worth it i this car is like a dream car so that's what we're doing building a dream car for me and that's all i got so there you go scrappy rolls